Hello friends. Just touching base for a couple minutes today. Hope you're all having a great week. Um, today, so in our Relief Society, we are all taking turns reading this. What Would a Holy Woman Do by Wendy Watson Nelson. It's like super thin, quick, easy read. Um, and it was my turn this week to have it. And so I just finished the book. And um, have you read it? If not, I recommend it. It was just really quick and simple, but it made me think about some good things today. Anyway, one of the things she talks about is spiritual gift cards. <laughs> that we all have spiritual gifts, and when we receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, it opens up our ability to obtain and learn more and develop more um, our own personal spiritual gifts. And um, some are so crazy for me that I barely have time to do. I mean, I try and read like a page out of my Book of Mormon and a page out of the conference ensign every day. And if I'm lucky, I get to that. It's just a really crazy time. But once school starts, especially now that I'm home alone for a little bit of time every day, I really wanted to up my game and um, just kind of spend more time. Um, really immersing myself, myself in the scriptures and the Enzyme articles and just kind of spending more time thinking about them and trying to develop spiritually so that when the time comes that I need to call on being more patient or having more gratitude or having more charity, I have worked on doing that every day. Um, but I had, I had written myself a note. I don't know when I wrote it. But it was in my calendar to look up in the Doctrine and Covenants student manual just about um, making time to just have quiet. And um, so if you have the Doctrine and Covenants student manual on page 357 is an awesome little story um, that I recommend looking at. And it just helped me remember that the Spirit really can't talk to us if we're distracted or stressed or scared that we needed to have like a quiet minute every day to just kind of have peace and be calm and to just think for a minute and not have all of our mom worries pressing down on us and I had written myself that reminder because I had already forgotten <laughs> my to-do list is very long and I need to remember to just be still and when I take time to do that even just for like 10 minutes and read something uplifting and pray about the things I'm worrying about with my kids or whatever um, I just am happier and I'm a better person so my question to you guys is what do you work into your daily routine to help you find that connection and calm um, I'm trying to do it like after the kids leave and after my workout, just like before I shower and get ready, that's the workout clothes I'm still in, um, just to have some quiet. So is there a time that works for you? And, um, yeah, what works for you? Okay. Have a great week. Happy Thursday. Hopefully everything's going well for you and I'll see you next week.